Welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe this totally unedited surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. An air bubble is injected. Beneath this air bubble, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. If we apply the dye underneath an air bubble, the dye is not diluted by aqueous. Staining is very fast, very quick. Adrenaline and now excess dye is washed out. This is an attempt to prevent TAS, toxic anterior segment syndrome. Moreover, if the dye is not washed out, there is more concentration of dye at one part of the anterior segment, less concentration of dye in another part of the anterior segment and this causes some problem in visibility. So it is always better to wash excess dye out of the anterior chamber. I use a 23G Simco cannula to wash the dye out. You can just irrigate the anterior chamber with PSAs or renal lactate and excess dye will come out. And now fill up the anterior chamber with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. In hard cataracts we can use the soft shell technique where the anterior chamber is underfilled by sodium hyaluronate and chondroitin sulfate combination. Beneath this compound, uh, uh, sodium hyaluronate is injected. In this case, I have used only SPMC and now capsular excess is done with the help of uh, uterata forceps. You can use anything, any other way to do a nice rexus. Many colleagues use only a cystitome through the side port to do a nice rexus. And now hydrodissection is done. I use a 27 Gauss cannula and BSS to do hydrodissection. Small amounts of BSS is injected. The nucleus is tapped frequently and then visco. And now the time to manage the nucleus. The exposed part of the uh, phaco needle is about 2 millimeter in such cases. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. Now I turn the handpiece and make the bevel up. Now watch the submarine chop technique where the phaco needle goes through the substance of the nucleus as a submarine moves under surface under through the water goes near the opposite equator it has a long course as it reaches near the opposite equator the chopper is used to get a nice crack and now I rotate the nucleus in this case, I rotated on only 90 degree. No, I'm rotating anticlockwise and rotated 180 degree. Sculpt once or twice. Held one part on heminucleus and separated the two heminuclei completely. Now each heminucleus is subdivided uh, with the phaco needle into two large fragments and then each large fragment is emulsified if necessary they are you know divided into smaller fragments this is the other nuclear fragment i am detaching the uh, you know epinuclear shell and this epinuclear shell is protecting the posterior capsule again they come to the other heminucleus detach the epinuclear shell get only the nucleus and emulsify the nucleus. In this way we can protect the posterior capsule very effectively. And this is the last part of the nucleus and now we go to lower vacuum and 
he removed the epinuclear shell. At this time, the ultrasonic energy is only 30 percent, flow rate is 30 and vacuum is 300. Earlier, while uh, doing the submarine chop technique, the vacuum was 480 millimeter of mercury, flow rate was 48 and ultrasonic energy was high about 80 percent. And now, the 23G Simco is used to remove the remaining cortex. Most of the cortex came out and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. The main wound which is 2.8 millimeter is enlarged if I use a B cartridge because if we do not enlarge this, the tip of the B cartridge does not engage well and sometimes the intraocular lens is released at the wound and the wound is stressed and we have to push the nucleus very hard to get it or we have to pull it out or push it very hard to go into the anterior chamber. The lens has gone into the capsular bag and this is the dialing of the lens by the irrigating probe itself and whatever visco molecules are there in the lumen of the cartridge comes out by this irrigation. This is a little bit of moxifloxacin. And now, the this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is nicely formed, integrity of all the wounds are checked, few drops of moxifloxacin is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.